one of the things I'm trying to get better at is understanding the tools that I use. In Rust, we use Toml all the time. Our configs are Toml. And yet, anytime I was confused by something in my config, I never thought to check the Toml spec. Anyway, now that I've looked at the Toml spec, everything makes sense now. And here's what I learned. Toml is short for Tom's Obvious Minimal Language. It's a language that tries to map all of its syntax to a hash map. This point will become clear when we look at the Toml to JSON examples in the spec. On the top, we have keys and Toml. Name equals orange, physical.color and physical.shape are both set as well. And we have the site.google.com example, which is more to show that values and quotes don't get broken up. Below, we have what this Toml file would map to in JSON land. Everything is a hash map. Name is a key. Physical is a hash map that has two keys, color and shape. And site is a hash map with google.com as a key. In our Rust configs, we typically use Toml tables and inline tables. So let's look at those. This is a table, which is really just another way of defining a hash map. If you look at the dog.taterman example, we can compare it to its JSON equivalent. The Toml has dog.taterman in square brackets. In the JSON, we see that dog is a hash map and taterman is a hash map within dog. Next, we look at the type.name equals pub. From the keys section, we know that type is a hash map that contains the key value pair of name and pug. Looking back at the JSON, we see that the type hash map is nested in the taterman hash map. To me, the syntax is really just a simpler way of placing multiple values in a hash map. Applying this knowledge to our cargo.toml file, our package section is really package.name, package.version, and package.edition. And our dependency section is really dependencies.time and dependencies.regex. Inline tables are another thing we use in our config files. Here we see how the inline table syntax maps to the regular table syntax. Left of the equal sign is the table name, and right of the equal sign are the values that would be listed under that table. So in our cargo file, if we specify that our regex dependency must be pulled from git, what we're actually saying is that the dependencies.regex is going to be a hash map that has keys for git and possibly branch in it. Now that I understand Toml files, I might actually start using them more often. In any case, I hope that was helpful. Till next time. Peace.